morning boys and girls. Um, today we're going to read a story of uh, Please Mr. Panda um, with permission from Scholastic Books. Thank you Scholastic. Um, Please Mr. Panda is written and illustrated by Steve Anthony and um, as we're reading we're going to think about why do we think, um, why, do, why did the author write this story? So um, when you write a book, you, you might be wanting to teach somebody something, you might be wanting to make somebody laugh, um, to tell a story. So we're gonna think about what the author's purpose is. Um, so as I'm looking at the cover, I see Mr. Panda. Um, he has a little hat on, says donuts, and he's carrying a box of donuts. Um, so I'm thinking this must have something to do with some donuts. Um, let's listen to our story. Ooh, and even there's a bunch of illustrations of donuts. So maybe the author likes donuts a lot. Let's see. Would you like a donut? Give me the pink one. No, you can't have a donut. I've changed my mind. Interesting. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. No, you can't have a donut. I've changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No, go away. Would you like a donut? I want them all and then bring me some more. No, you can't have a donut. I've changed my mind. Would anyone else like a donut? Hello, may I have a donut? Please, Mr. Panda. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I love donuts. You're welcome. I don't like donuts. The end. Okay, so that was a really short story. So let's think about why, why do we think that, I was thinking that maybe the, that the author liked donuts, but when we were reading this story, he said he didn't like donuts. Um, so let's think about why did the author write this story? And as I was reading, I was noticing so who did he give the donuts to? He didn't give them to the penguin. He didn't give them to the whale. The ostrich was just kind of rude. Um, the skunk was just telling him what he wanted. Um, but the, the one that he gave them to, I noticed said please, and he was polite. And so the author wrote this story to remind us how it's important to be polite. And when you want something, you should say please, you should say thank you. You should be kind. The ostrich, what was another way she could have said um, that she didn't want any donuts? Um, we talk about it during our snack time. I always remind, we remind each other to say yes please or no thank you. Um, so it's important to have good manners. So um, today for your little writing to me um, in your notebook, we'll put, um, I want you to write to me about times that you're polite at home. Um, so now that you're you're working at home, I want you to share with me how you're polite with your with your family, uh, with your moms, your dads, your aunts, uncles, whoever's staying with you during the day. Um, if parents are at work, um, today I think is the 25th. Um, so we'll put March, our third month, the slash 25 slash. Oh, I kind of ran out of space, so I'm just going to do the short the short year of just 20. Okay, we'll do our little illustration box 
and I want you to draw a picture of you being polite or showing me something that you do that is kind to others. And, um, and then in your writing space, um, I want you to write, here's a sentence starter to give you an idea. I am polite when I, and then you tell me what it is that you do um, that you're, you're polite. And if your family will send it to me, email it to me or text it to me, I will write you back. Um, and I might have some extra questions for you, okay? Um, and I hope you guys are all doing well. And I will read another story later on. Um, I'll talk to you soon, bye.